In this video, I'll show you how to perform ikajima on this striped bass, which is still alive and which I just caught on a kayak fishing trip. Ikajima is a um, quick, humane way to kill a fish and make sure that it does not suffer for a long time. It also ensures better quality of meat by avoiding undue stress to the fish and bleeding the meat in ice and water. Normally, I, I let this fish suffocate and put it in the fridge until I'm ready to flay it. Unfortunately, the fish can suffer for a long time, and that method leads to a lot of stress and torture for the fish, building up lactic acid, and the quality of the meat is compromised. The first step of ikajime is to use a knife or a brain spike to euthanize the fish. The fish's brain is a few inches behind and above the eyes. Make sure to point the knife away from your hand and spike the knife straight into the brain. Then roll the knife around the brain to make sure that the fish is brain dead. You'll know when you have hit the brain when the fish fins flare up and ultimately the fish body relaxes. The fish is, the fish is now euthanized and cannot feel any more pain. The second step of ikajime is to bleed the fish with two slices at both gills. Take a sharp knife and bleed the fish along the backside of one gill then flip the fish over and bleed the other gill. By allowing the fish to bleed out and release the blood, the fish meat will be of higher quality and it'll taste better when you cook it. The third step of ikajime is to cut the tail and insert a wire to remove the spinal cord. This step is to prevent the fish's spinal cord from sending any stress signals to the muscles that might move the fish uh, even though the fish is completely dead. Even though it's brain dead, the spinal cord may still send these signals, you see. It was easy enough to cut off the tail, but I had trouble inserting the wire through the spinal cord and just gave up on this process. Uh, please share any tips with me if you know how to do this step. The fourth and final step of ikajime is to immerse the fish in an ice water slurry to keep the fish meat ice cold while the fish bleeds. This step was easy with an old ice cooler that we have. I left the fish in the slurry for about an hour and a half until I was ready to fillet the fish. I've got another video on my channel on filleting a fish, on how to fillet a fish, so check that out on my channel if you need to. I use a spoon to remove the scales and a fillet, a fillet knife to, fillet the, to cut the fillets out. This fish meat was delicious. There was less blood left in the meat uh, the taste of the meat was wonderful, and most importantly, I believe it was a quicker and more humane way to harvest the fish. Try this sometime when you catch your next keeper. For my next keeper, I tried steps 1 and 2 on the kayak recently and bled the fish as I paddled home. I then washed it in salt water in the ocean and put the, put the fish away in the ice slurry as soon as I got home. It was a little messy on the kayak, but the ocean water washed all the blood away and it worked out fine. Here are a few dishes I made with this fish. They were all delicious. We cooked one filet with a ginger soy marinade in my cast iron skillet. I made kinilao, which is a Filipino dish with raw fish marinated in white vinegar, and then mixed with coconut milk, peppers, shallots, tomatoes, and cilantro. It's like Filipino ceviche. Then we cooked the head in a, in a Filipino fish stew called sinigang with tamarind juice, spinach, radish, tomatoes and onions. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. I have other fishing and cooking videos on playlists in my YouTube channel. Check them out. If you have any tips or comments on how to perform ikajime, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.